Do you know what the top 100 YouTube channels have in common? They create and upload YouTube Shorts consistently. In fact, most of them do it on a daily basis. YouTube Shorts are favored by the algorithm and have a much higher reach than regular YouTube videos. And that's why in today's video, we'll show you how you can use AI tools to create 30 days worth of YouTube Shorts for your own brand in just one single day with the help of ChatGPT and InVideo so that you can also stay consistent with posting on YouTube and grow your channel. And yes, you can do this without having to learn any script writing or video editing skills. So make sure you subscribe and stick around till the end for a bonus tip. Let's get started. The first step is to finalize ideas for the 30 different shorts you're going to create. Keep in mind that these can be repurposed for platforms like Instagram Reels and TikTok as well. An easy way to come up with ideas is to first divide your content into different buckets or categories that can help you achieve the following goals. Introducing your brand or channel to the audience, informing or educating your audience, helping them interact with your brand, inspiring them to take action, entertaining them, and finally, influencing them. Now to figure out your buckets, you can always look at a popular channel in your niche and see what they are doing. We are creating shorts for a fitness brand, a chain of women's only gym. So we will look at some of the top fitness channels to see what they're doing. Now, after going through several of them, we can see that fitness channels have five primary buckets of content. Instructional videos to inform their audience, highlights or showcases to introduce the gym or the equipment or the services, motivational or inspirational videos for inspiring people to take action, customer reviews to influence people, and means and bloopers to entertain and interact with their audience. And I think these categories will work well for our brand as well. So we are going to go ahead with five different buckets or categories and then have six ideas under each to create a total of 30 posts. Now to actually get the six ideas for each bucket, we go to ChatGPT. Start by logging into your account and then we are going to use the prompt box at the bottom of the screen to give the AI prompts for the kind of shorts ideas we want. Note that how you write your prompts will massively influence the quality of your ideas. Let's start with the first bucket that is instructional shorts. And this is how we are writing the prompt for that. You want to ensure that while prompting for ideas, you include a few key details, which are the platform and the type of video you're creating, what type of product or service you have, for instance, women's gym, and specific details you want the AI to keep in mind while creating the ideas, such as for videos that can be created with just text and music. Now, once you press enter, ChatGPT gives you the ideas in real time. And I actually really like these. Let's look at the prompt for another bucket, which is motivational or inspirational shorts for a fitness brand. Now, once you have your ideas, you can organize them using a tool like Notion or Google Sheets. I have saved all of these ideas on Notion because it makes it easier to open each idea and write the script right there and then. Now, once you have your ideas in place, the next step is to write a short script for each of these ideas so that you can easily turn them into videos for your brand. Thankfully, this is also something that you can easily do with ChatGPT in minutes. Now, you don't need to go ahead and start a new prompt. ChatGPT saves the recent prompts that you've given it and you can access them here on the left side of the screen. Click on the fitness shorts ideas and it will open your prompt and the list of ideas that it has already given you. Now, all you need to do is again use the prompt box at the bottom of the screen to prompt the AI to give you a script for each idea. Since we already took care of the essential details while giving the first prompt, here are the additional details you need to include in this prompt. The length of the video, such as 30 seconds, one minute, the tonality that you want, such as funny, witty, cheeky, etc. And any additional details to ensure that the video is as easy for you to create as possible. A detailed prompt like this ensures that you get a fairly detailed script from the get-go. Now, once you press enter, ChatGPT will create six scripts for you in a matter of minutes. Once you have the first draft, you can read through the scripts to see if you want any changes. If you do, just give it additional prompts. I feel the scripts need to be more personalized and can do well with a listicle format. So I'm going to prompt the AI to do that. And with that, six video scripts are ready in under five minutes. Now go ahead and do this for the remaining 24 videos and you can copy and paste the text for each script in the corresponding Notion doc and you're ready to start creating your video. Now the next step is to use InVideo to turn your scripts into videos. For this, log into your InVideo account and go to the text to video workflow in the dashboard. Here you will find a library of templates to create your video from. Make sure you select the portrait aspect ratio from the menu on the left and then scroll through to find a template that you like. Now to preview a template, simply hover your cursor over it and don't worry about getting an exact match for your brand colors or fonts as these are details that you can easily edit out later in the process. Once you find a template, click on it to go to the template page and here click on use template. 
This will get you to in video super intuitive editor where the canvas area will show you the preview of the video on the right and you have the script box on the left. Here, all you need to do is simply copy your chat GPT script and paste it in the script box. Now make sure you break down longer sentences and paragraphs by pressing enter. I want to have a separate scene for each tip, so I'm going to separate them like that. Then select the box for auto-suggesting media. Make sure that premium and stock media options are also selected. And then click on create scenes and in video will create video scenes for the entire script in real time. Now once your scenes are created, you can go ahead and replace the automatically selected media if you want something different or feel that it's not relevant. Ideally, for this part, you want to have your own video clips and images to tell the story in the most compelling way. To use those, you will simply need to use the Upload tab in the left menu and upload your media. But in case you don't have your own media yet, you can use InVideo's inbuilt media library to find relevant clips and images. Simply go to the Video tab in the left menu and search for the kind of clips you want. Use a few different keyword combinations to get the right results. Once you find a clip you like, simply drag and drop it onto the canvas. This will open a pop-up window where you want to hit replace. And this will open up another pop-up window where you want to trim the duration of the clip to match the duration of the scene. Select this option at the bottom of the screen that says trim video to fit scene and then click on add and your media will replace the template default. You can similarly replace any template media with an image as well. Now do this for all the scenes you feel necessary and once your media is updated, you want to go ahead and make adjustments to the text. You can drag it around the canvas to reposition and resize it and then use the menu on top of the canvas if you want to change the font, the size, the color or the animation of the text. If you want to change the color or font across the entire video, each of these features have the option to apply the change across the video. So make sure you select that box while making the change. Now, once your media is logged, it's time to fix your audio. One way to make your shots more engaging is to add a voiceover. And for that, you can use the voiceover button at the bottom of the screen. Ideally, you want to select this option to record your own voiceover. This will make your videos more personalized and help people connect with you better. But if you're just starting out and you need the help, you can go for the automated text to speech voiceover. Use the menu on the left to choose your language and voice and preview your voice once. 15 my need full body workout for busy women. Once you're satisfied, go ahead and click on add and in videos AI will create the entire voiceover for you and even sync up the length of the scenes according to the voiceover. Now coming to the music, your template comes with a default music track. But to ensure that your video gets maximum reach, it is a much better idea to use trending songs from the YouTube audio library. So select the audio track on the timeline and delete it. Now to find a trending audio track, look through the audio library on YouTube Shorts to see which songs are on the top of the charts. Such as this one that already has over 400k shorts created on it. Go ahead and find this song on YouTube and then copy its link and use a website like this one to download the audio track. Once you have it, simply go back to the InVideo editor and use the uploads option to upload this audio track. And once it's uploaded, simply click on it and it will get added to the timeline. Now, if you've added a voiceover, you will need to select the audio track and then use the volume and fade controls on top of the canvas to reduce the volume of the audio track so that the voiceover is audible. If not, you can let it play at full volume. And with that, your video is ready. Now click on the play button underneath the canvas to preview what your video looks like. This actually looks pretty good. Once you're satisfied, go to the top right corner of the screen and hit export. We suggest exporting in 180p for the best results. Now, while you're uploading this video on YouTube Shorts, you don't need to select the audio track again from the audio library because the YouTube algorithm automatically detects what music you're using. Now, you want to follow all of these steps to create all your remaining videos as well. Here's how we created another video, a motivational short for the same brand.
Now, if you get stuck at any point or want additional assistance, you can click on this chat icon right above the timeline to access our 24-7 support team. The response time is less than 30 seconds. Alternatively, you can also access additional tutorials and articles on our help.invideo.io page. And that's how you can bulk create shorts in hours instead of days with the help of ChatGPT and InVideo. Don't forget to check out this video next to learn how to create faceless shorts using InVideo and check out this video next to learn how to bulk create Instagram Reels to grow your brand online.